Right, we're here with Hull City Ladies head coach Danny Johnson um, to reflect on today's 6-1 defeat by Bolton Wanderers in uh, in today's friendly, our first ever game here at North Ferriby's Transfield Stadium. Um, pretty hefty defeat, Danny, but uh, what's your thoughts on that? Um, well, firstly, it was nice to obviously play down here and a lot of hard work's gone here at Ferriby and allowed us to have this opportunity to make it our home this season. Um, so, and yeah, it was a lovely crowd and the supporters came out, but unfortunately they haven't seen the best uh, version of uh, Full City Ladies. I think the 6-1 defeat is, you know, on paper people will look at it and go, look, it's a, it's a bad defeat that. However, you know, we've given a lot of opportunities to a lot of youngsters today. We've got a lot of players out through injury. We've got players who are still not match fit, which we were aware of, and the, they are as well, which is more important. Um, so I think... Yeah, the result isn't good enough, but and, and, and some of the goals were that were conceded again were sort of errors that you don't expect really from from our sort of side. But again, that's part and parcel of what pre seasons about. Um, just sort of reflecting the first half, I thought it was the more encouraging side. I thought we came out of the we came out of the traps well, played really well. Um, first half an hour or so, um, got in front, but then just. Don't know, it just didn't quite work after that. Yeah, yeah. I think I think you're right. I think that's what we identified the first sort of 20 minutes, 25 minutes of the first half. You know, I thought the front three they would look good. You know, we, we found we, we played football. We tried to play through the thirds today. Or, you know, uh, playing out from the back. And yeah, we, we, we found the front three a, a few times and caused problems for them. You know, turned them around, played balls down the, in between full backs and centre halves. And again, Emily, Katie, um, and Harley did really well there. And I thought, um, I think it was just a bit disappointing for the rest of the game. The second, second half of the first half, and then all of second second half itself. All right, there's changes, there's opportunities, but we just lost all um, sort of uh, real purpose on how we wanted to uh, approach today's game, really. Um, um, what's your thoughts on, obviously, we're down now at this fantastic venue, um, but I know it's obviously been your first game on it today, but it is a change for the team. Uh, obviously, the home venue previously has been an artificial surface, you know, on grass, so it's, it's going to take a bit of time for the, the team just sort of to get used to the pitch. And yeah. yeah, I think so. I think, of course, it's like sort of passes and stuff today that, you know, there wasn't enough on them. It's little things like that where you're looking around and going, look, you know, we're at, we, we addressed it actually at half time and said, look, you need to put more on your passes because some of them were falling short. And again, that's probably because of the surface and what we're used to. So, yeah, it's going to take even just the environment. I mean, the stand and the and, and, and little things and the supporters all being, you know, echoing and stuff and applauding and on on the sidelines there today. It was it's all new for some of these players. So it's again it's another small change. How much of, of an effect it has on them, then we'll we'll probably ask and find that out. But overall, I think it's it's going to be good. You know, we, we, we said we've had bad pre-season results in the past. You know, any level you look, teams have done it, but gone in and kicked on in the season and I'm confident when the players come back and again they're used to it down here that we can uh, we can kick on. Yeah and just finally um, obviously a brilliant crowd today of um, we think well over 200 um, you've got Manchester United next week coming for Ellis Jackman's testimonial down here next Sunday two o'clock kick off just What's your thoughts ahead of that game and encouraging people to, to come down and support the team and support Ellis for her testimony? Yeah, absolutely. I think you'll see a different side. I think you'll see different personnel. You'll see certainly a different way of approach to a game and, and more out of these players. So, again, people who maybe came today, I'd encourage them to come back next week and see a different a difference. Um, a more more positive one at that and yeah I just want to thank all them who've come today I believe that there'll be a lot more next week as well new fans old fans um, and yeah it'll be a, it'll be a good day all round I think um, it's just nice to see so many young girls as well that have arrived today and supporting the players and well fans of all ages really but 
some of the youngsters and that there and the players are it's all new to them as well as getting support of photographs and stuff of these youngsters it's 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 all new to some of these players so it's it's nice to see it's really good it's really positive and i i look forward to seeing uh, many more supporters in the in the future great stuff thanks for your time danny and uh, we'll see you next week yep thank cheers you.